Everybody, welcome to Epileptic Gaming. Yes, I am not Rance. He uh, he actually got uh, sick real quick, had to leave. So La I had to salsa. fill in. Yeah, that little salsa can be a bitch sometimes. So I'm your host today. Instead, uh, Wheat is out finishing that sex change operation. He's talked so much about. We can't wait to welcome him back. Uh, after the operation, I think Hogan may find him more attractive. I still may remember him being a dude. I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I don't know how I'm going to feel. But anyway, welcome to episode uh, 139.5 of episode 2 of Epileptic Gaming. We are your only daily video game talk show that's live, that's video, and that doesn't suck. So thank <laughs> you for joining me. Uh, with me, I got, of course, Hogan doing the board today because everybody dropped the ball. What's up, y'all? Yeah. How you doing? There's Hogan. And, and then we have our intern, intern extraordinaire. I don't even know if he's an intern anymore. We have uh, Tyler controlling Stick'em. What's up? How's Viri, it going? as he's yeah. known among the nerds. Yeah, the nerds. Yeah. I don't think anyone's happy that you're hosting today. Um, and I don't really care. Okay, then. I don't know. They asked for more Suma, and now they're getting it, so they better <laughs> calm down. Yeah. Guys, you guys, you know, you can visit us at epilepticgaming.ggl.com. That's where you're going to find our forums. You can take part, chat, flame people, make up stupid things, whatever you want. You know what the Internet's good for. Uh, make sure you visit our MySpace. Make sure you, you know, visit everything that we do, including our YouTube channel, where you can get highlights of the show. You can share it with your friends. And, uh, you know, you can watch me, the world's worst interviewer, talk to Matt Groening. So make sure you guys check that out. And I want to remind everyone about our volunteer program here at GGL. If you want to write, if you want to contribute, if you just want to do anything video game related, you always want to break in the industry, you can email us at volunteer at ggl.com. And our writer, head writer extraordinaire, Mahmood, will get back to you, hopefully, if he's not too busy losing to girls in Quake. He will get back to you, and uh, you know, new. hopefully, you will uh, get your foot in the door. Maybe it could be your chance. You never know. They let me in, so maybe they'll let you in. I don't know. They let all of us. Yeah, in, dude. it's amazing. So there you go. Uh, I want to give everyone an update on these, uh, this uh, tournament that GGL is actually doing. It's an Ace Combat Six tournament, and it appears that uh, after 11 days of this tournament, which uh, the winning team gets thirty thousand dollars not too bad um ghost wolves and sins and saints alpha are destroying everybody uh ghost wolves is off to an eight and no record and saints and alpha is actually out to a 21 and O record so um good job guys we're, we're glad you're taking part and and there's more stuff like this on ggl if you go to ggl.com you can even create your own ladders create your own terms create your own groups you could create an anti-SUMA group and hold your own tournaments among that camaraderie. I mean, come on, guys. Where else can you do that? I don't, I don't think you can do that anywhere. So, you guys, make sure you do that. Um, and the, don't, uh, I just wanted yes, to give the Hogan. direct Earl. It's acecombat6.ggl.com. acecombat6.ggl.com. Earn some money, you guys. Get in there. You can get in there and, and lose. Or win if you're good enough. Maybe you're good enough. You just didn't know about it. Uh, guys, you saw the trailer and you saw what was happening, uh, the Up All Night Mario and Sonic. We want to remind everyone that that episode will be up and out and ready to view on Monday. You can see me in tight shorts. You can see Rance with a uh, mustache and maybe some blog gang symbols. And then you'll see DJ Wheat actually take on the persona of a treasure hunter. So you guys won't want to miss that. And, of course, Mahmood with the blonde mustache probably the star of the priceless, whole bunch yeah. yeah pretty much priceless um so make sure you guys do that i just want to let you guys know what's happening on the show today also we will be taking open phone calls there won't be much news there really isn't a whole lot going on yeah the ps3 turned one today yeah the, the we dominate october npds yeah the ps3 sold a buttload in japan yeah all that stuff's happening you guys probably already know that you know the ghostbusters stuff came out 
So we're just going to open up the phone calls today. You guys can talk about whatever you want. If you want to keep talking about our COD4 review that we did yesterday and how wrong force was on everything, you're more than welcome to do that. I highly encourage it. And uh, if you want to talk about anything, you want to talk about Hogan's non-existent rat tail, you want to talk about the fact that Tyler is completely incompetent, I'm all for it. So yeah, we're going to open up the phones for you guys today. Uh, I want to tease, though, Hogan and I are actually going to go to a Nerdcore calendar release party tonight um, at 7 o'clock. And if you live in the L.A. area, maybe you can stop by and say hi to us while we're trying to uh, fondle young women. There's a Nerdcore release party tonight taking place at 7 p.m. at Meltdown Comics on Sunset here in Hollywood, California. Uh, as like I said, I'll be the host of the whole thing uh, with a camera, and uh, we'll be going up trying to get interviews, trying to get a little TNA for the show. I know all you horny teenage boys need something to spank to while you're watching EG, and hopefully we will be able to provide to it. I know Hogan can't fulfill that quota every day. It's hard for him. So I we're going to try to... My titties are getting sore, you guys. Yeah, we're going to try to mix it up a bit. You can't just have Hogan to spank <laughs> to. We need chicks to spank to. So... You guys will hopefully have that for you, so stay tuned for that, um, and we hope that you will like that. By the way, when you go to Epileptic Gaming and you sign up, you can become a special member. Did you know that? What kind of special member? I don't know, but you're special because you signed up. And we want to say congratulations to uh, EG, I guess, and also to the guy that was our 1,000th friend on MySpace, He's our thousands MySpace whore friend. We want to give a shout out to John, John Woods, as a matter of fact. And we're going to ask John to go ahead and email us at epilepticgaming at gmail.com. And then we will actually send you a prize. I don't know what we're going to send you. Maybe Hogan's toenail or something, <laughs> since the rat tail is about to be gone. I know. By the way, Hogan, what's the uh, update on that the, eBay auction? Well, the latest that I, that I know of is that it's been hijacked. And I'm oh. working on getting... Do we have a fraudulent era. bidder? I think so. I think some people are trying to mess with us, so I'm working with eBay on trying to fix that. Guys. And I will have an update in the forums on our website pretty soon. All right. Okay. Jackasses. It's for a cherry, okay? As soon as the auction's over, the money goes right into child's play. Hogan never gets a sniff of it, no. okay? So if you're going to go and be a jackass and make a fraudulent bid, you're cheating out children of some precious video games to ease their suffering. <laughs> Do you want to be that person? Ill, Do you dude. want to be that jackass? And believe me, we'll expose you. <laughs> and we'll take you down. Hogan, what's coming up next week? Uh, well, next week, guys, we have uh, two special guests coming into the studio on Tuesday, Michael Dean, who actually should be an inspiration for all of us. He's still in school. Yes. And he... He's got is, a year left of he's school. Got a, yeah, he's an he's a up-and-coming game developer. He's working on a new engine. He was actually uh, here visiting our studio last week. So we're going to have him on the show Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we have Jason Rubin, who has been making video games since 1984. Wow. He used to work for Naughty Dog, and he is basically the, the main guy behind Crash Bandicoot, and we're going to get the, the, the first scoop on what's coming up next with him. So that's on Wednesday of next week. You know, EG Thanksgiving, we got some special guests. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, you guys, I, I know a lot of you are always asking and interested you know, how do you get involved in the video game industry? You want to become a developer. You want to make games. We have two guys next week. One guy that's just starting and one guy that's been in the game since 1984. Back to back, two different days. I don't think you were going to be able to beat that. And I hope that you guys will learn something and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it, it you know, it's going to be a little different. Jason may be a little bit more open, but you know, it, at least you're going to learn something here. So uh, hopefully we can give you guys that pre-Thanksgiving treat. Um, before we move on to opening up phone calls, I know you guys have seen Two Girls, One Cup. I haven't. Now, I, I've been told to stay Now, away. if you're weak in stomach, <laughs> do not ever go to Two Girls, One Cup. Never. In fact, Hogan, I know, is a very sensitive young man. And I told him, do not go, Hogan. You will not be able to handle it, okay? I don't even think Tyler's allowed to go. He's a little weak in the stomach, too. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a little weak in either. the stomach, do not go there, all right? So... This two girls, one cup, one cup phenomenon started. People started posting their reactions on YouTube. Well, it's always interesting when celebrities get into this YouTube mess and want to post their own reaction. One of my favorite guys in the whole wide world is Joe Rogan. Not only is he involved with the UFC, he's a big Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy. He's a, he's a you know, fear factor, news radio, stand-up comedian. Pretty cool guy, pretty chill guy. And uh, 
he heard about Two Girls, One Cup, and he filmed his own reaction video, and uh, we saw it today. Uh, I think you guys are going to like it, so let's watch that. Two Girls, One Cup, and action. We're about to watch the Two Girls, One Cup video. I, I've Brian seen it. I have not seen it. I saw the threads about it on the internet. I'm like, who are you gonna shock me? I saw a guy get fucked to death by a horse. I've seen people oh. eat diarrhea. You know, I've seen oh, it. and this is a so, fear uh, factor this guy, is guys. To be Remember super that. Super disgusting and the most disgusting video ever, or whatever. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna watch it right now. I could see he's down in that Sierra mist. <laughs> Here's a war poster. Is this his dorm room or something? <laughs> this is pretty much the reaction most people oh. have. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it starts out like, oh, and then it just spirals downward very fast. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. He's coughing. He almost he threw up. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like gonna cry. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go far. That's insane. I don't want to imagine what that was. Where are those girls? <laughs> we have to find them. We have to offer them a job. Rogan.net. We need to offer those chicks a job. Those bitches will do anything. Totally. What is that for? Crack, heroin, meth? What do you, what do you think they do that cocaine, for? Cocaine, definitely. Cocaine. That's cocaine. Cocaine makes them eat shit. Yes. How much cocaine <laughs> do you think you have to give a girl to get her to eat shit? <laughs> those girls would probably be happy with an eight ball a day. One eight ball a day and they just eat shit all day. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty tough. I didn't. I didn't really watch the whole thing because there was a couple seconds where I looked away. Like, yeah, I couldn't person. get through the whole thing. Either. Um, but I still think the guy getting fucked to death by a horse is more disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one, the BME Pain Olympics, where dudes hatchet their balls. Have you seen that one, Brian? Oh my uh, yeah, God. this is bad. Oh, let's watch you watch that. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch that. What the fuck, pussy? You just made me watch someone eat shit. <laughs> I don't want to see death and mutilation. It's I not death. They're doing it to themselves. They're yeah, just yeah, trying to mutilation. That's just. <laughs> well, let's just see how it goes. Let's do that, let's do that now. We'll film that too. Let's just. See how it goes. So yeah, this BME Pain Olympics. I don't. Oh man. Yeah, the I internet. actually watched it in the, during lunch in the office for about oh, two seconds before it's completely inappropriate. Up, I love it. You should know that the, the description is hatchet oh, and penis, or hatchet versus genitals. That's the uh, title. No, it's not real. <laughs> oh, dude, I can't watch. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Is that a cat? <laughs> it's a cat. So that's uh, my uh, one of my guys I like. Joe Rogan put together that video. Yeah, that BME Pain Olympics. That's another one. You gotta have a strong stomach for that. Or at that's least a, not be at work, okay, guys? Yeah. Don't watch those things at work unless you want to... not safe for <laughs> anywhere. Unless you want your boss to uh, plunge your face or something. So let's open up the phone calls. You want to talk about two girls, one cup, one Hogan, one cup, whatever you want to do. Uh, video games, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we're a video game show. We can talk about video games. We can talk about anything. You want to talk about how great the Wii is? I'm all for that. So yep. uh, let's get some phone calls. All right, here any? we go. Already? Yeah. Man, that was fast. Caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. One, two questions, actually. Yes. One, what's worse, BME Pan Olympics or Two Girls, One Cup? What's worse? Yes. I actually think Two Girls, One Cup is worse. Because, like, someone taking, so a, a, you, know, a, you know, a hatchet versus genitals, like, yeah, that's gross, but I don't know. There's something about girls and poop and, and going in their mouth and the way they enjoyed it. It was just... I couldn't watch it. I felt sick to my stomach, and uh, I've been trying to erase it from my memory ever since. That. What was that? Jeez. I, I wonder how much they got paid to do that. 
Well, some people still think it's fake that maybe they put ice cream in there. I don't know. I don't even like to think about it too much. But uh, which one? Which one do you think is worse? I've never seen any of them. Oh, okay, good. Don't, don't save yourself a lifetime of nightmares. Dude, honestly, the the, the thought of that is kind of making me sick. Yeah, the yeah. thought of what was going on. And I have the, the picture in my brain. It's like stuck in there. I need the Haitian to come by and pull that shit out <laughs> because that is stuck for life. All right, Carl. Uh, anything else, buddy? God. Uh, one more question. Yeah, go ahead. This is actually about video games. Oh, my God. Uh, Call of Duty 4. Yes. What is your favorite perk and weapon combination? Ooh, favorite perk and weapon combination. Well, I must say I am trying to go through and unlock everything. Um, but if I have a go-to weapon that I always rely on, it's the M4. And my favorite perk combination with that is uh, increased bull is uh, the three special grenades. I think the stun grenades are ace in that game. Uh, increased like bullet penetration. The two the two perks that allow you to have increased bullet pe penetration are great. Now when I go to my saw with the red dot sight, I love that uh, last grenade one. You know what I'm talking about? The one yeah. where if you die, a grenade drops, and if the guy's near you, he dies pretty much. Caller, did he I leave? Like that. That's Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's still there? Okay. So, uh, yeah, it depends on what weapon it is. Um, but my favorite perk, I guess, is the grenade thing. But it doesn't fit when you have, like, a longer-range weapon or a weapon that you're going to shoot from long range. Yeah. I, I always like the concept of last stand. Just, like, you're going to die. You yeah. might as well take somebody with you. Yeah, for I... <laughs> I never actually tried it. I don't. I don't know. It it feels cheap to me, so I guess I just never tried it. I don't know why. Maybe I'll get over that someday. But I feel like the other perks are far more effective than Last Stand. But I could be wrong. Because every time I see people with Last Stand, they're getting shot immediately. I, I hardly ever see guys get kills with Last Stand. And like I got killed with Last Stand during the beta. But ever since the game's final release, I kill people easily now because you know they're going to be on the ground. Like you automatically will shoot them whether they have Last Stand or not. So it almost nullifies the whole idea. Yeah, but with uh, these newbies these days, they're not going to notice that dude crouching up with the pistol. You might be able to catch some take, newbies. I don't know. Take somebody out regardless. You might be able to catch some newbies, but that's going to catch up to you. I like to, uh, I like to play a little differently and, and expect people to be good. That way, I can try and be a little bit better. So, but uh, right. thank you, caller. Wait, no problem. See you. All right, see you. guys. Peace. Open phones today. I want to see the, uh, the phone. There we go. We got a next caller here. Brian, what's up? Or Bryn, caller. Hello. Hello. All right, guys. Have you seen anything about the uh, the Hitman movie? Uh, uh, I've seen the trailer. The trailer looks pretty ace, dude. It actually looks good. Yeah, I've seen it. I thought it looked good. It was the first thing I heard about it was the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, video uh, game movies traditionally suck major balls, but, you know, this one, it actually looks kind of good. I like, You know, it looks slick. It looks better than the game looked. <laughs> yeah, it does. I was quite surprised to see. I, I started watching it, and then I saw the guy's tattoo on the back of his head, and I was like, oh, shit, that's Hitman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they do it right, as long as they don't give it the Doom treatment or the Uwe Boll treatment, it could be decent. You never know. That first yeah, Resident Evil was thing, good, right? Well, was the, the other thing I wanted to ask was, are you going to do a, a review on the uh, Zelda game on the DS? Because I'm really interested in that. Which game? The Zelda game, the one where you oh. use the stylus and you can swing your sword and shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Force has a DS or not. I just never got around to picking that up. And the, the game came out during our break, I think. So it might be a little outdated. Do you have it? No, I don't. I, I was thinking about picking it up. So uh, I think if you have a DS, pick it up. You know what I got today that's pretty ace? I got it sent to me today, and I played it for like about five minutes or so before I actually had to do work. Uh, is Contra 4 for the DS. Oh, yeah? What's yeah. that about? Are you a fan of the original Contra? Do you remember Contra? No. You don't remember? It's like a 2D side-scrolling shooter, and it's famous for that Konami code. Um, but it's like a side-scroll 2D shooter kind of thing. No, you lost me on that. But I did, <laughs> I did like the, uh, the show with Cliffy B when he says he made uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit, because I remember that playing on the crappiest PC in the world, <laughs> you know. But that game was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Well, uh, yeah, keep up the good work, and... Uh, where are you calling you from? Guys, where's, the, where's the fuck it? Where's the drinks today? Uh, yeah. I blame I blame Tyler I'm, I'm and Hogan. As a pub getting fucked up. So, you know, <laughs> we might tonight at the Nerdcore thing. Just, yeah. <laughs> I have to save my energy. Up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want to throw up on naked chicks walking around. 
Again. What? There's no naked chicks in England, man. It's fucking freezing here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, if you have a DS, go pick up that Zelda game. I'm sure it's good. I, I, I doubt very highly that it's bad. It seems like everything oh, well, the, other, coming... the other thing I wanted to say was, you know, you guys are getting Eye of Judgment for $70. It's £70 pounds over here. That's like $140. $100 million. Huh? That's not like a good deal. It's not That's a all. good deal? Well, don't you get no, ripped man, off on everything? Pounds. Is one hundred and forty dollars? Don't you get ripped off on everything, though? Aren't you used to that? No, not so bad. Oh. I mean, normal games you wouldn't get ripped off, but it doesn't seem like such a good deal as it does over there. Because I really like the look of that game. So I'm a magic player. Yeah, That's why you have to live in America. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, well, I am going <laughs> over there. I'm pretty excited. I'm going over there in the uh, the spring, and I get to shoot a fucking gun. Where are you going? Why are we letting uh, you Orlando, shoot a gun mate, in our country? In Disney World. You're going to shoot a gun in Disney World? Is this no, some precursor to some plot that you're doing? <laughs> what is going, should we learn our authorities? What's going on here? No, 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 no. I, you know, but over here we don't get to have guns, so it's nice to go and shoot one. Yeah, oh. America's so you're, known for You're coming gun, to America buddy. just to shoot a gun. Well, no, not just to shoot a What's gun. It's a Mickey, I'm dog. See Mickey Mouse as well. Yeah, oh, right. oh, okay. Mickey Mouse is a little overrated. <laughs> yeah, you guys are a bit far away from Orlando. I looked it up. Hey, we got Disneyland over here. Yeah, she come we out. We got Universal Studios. Yeah, I know, but we got you Hogan. Got too far away from there to get to you. And All see right. The studio. All right. Well, it's a shame that you can't uh, can't come by LA. Yeah, you would have fucking loved it. Soon, I know. I would have. And I just watched the video where you got owned divine on Eye of Judgment. Good. Uh, first of all, that first game with Wii, that was complete luck, okay? I did not get owned. The second game was a real game. That was a game of skill, of wit, <laughs> of brain power, and clearly Wii was outmatched and it was shown. So watch the second half of that when it's actually a real game and not some fake stuff like the first one, and then you'll see who the real brains behind this operation is. Uh, all right, man. I'll, all right. I'll give you that. I was fucked by that point, so I didn't get <laughs> that. I understand. Trust me. All right, guys. All right, man. Well, thanks, thanks for taking call. my call. Yeah. Good show. Later. Anytime, buddy. Uh, Hogan, while you're busy typing away, are you another caller? Uh, yeah, we do. Okay. DJ DTR. What's up, caller? What's up, dude? No video? Uh, man. I don't see the video. Yeah, oh, there he is. Oh. Can we put him up? Do you have there. that cable? Oh, he's coming. Oh, oh like San Diego, dude. Over. Dude. Nice. I have the new EG overlays. Uh, I don't know. What did happen to those, Hogan? I think we got new software and stuff, so they had to go back to the old ones. Or yeah, something. we're rocking the old school right I like, now. I like that black one better. I have the old one, too. You like the old one better? Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. What's up, DJ? Anyway, uh, I want you guys to be able to do a little troubleshooting, you know? Because, like, uh, my, with my 3D card, I've got, like, a RAM upgrade, so now I have, like, 2.5 gigs of RAM, and now, um... That sounds uh, like every, a Every man. time I, like, look in a direction, like, I would, like, lag heavily in graphics, so... Do you have your vertical uh, sync turned on or off? Is it something to do with that, maybe? No, it's, like, it's all default settings, but I don't know, it's just gone crappier now. So wait, you you have a new video card with 256? No, no, I have I have a new RAM, but I have an old video card. It's the what is your video card? It's the Intel. Oh. Blah blah blah. Dude, it's like I, integrated graphics. Uh, it's it's a ex Express chipset. Well, that that's probably the the problem there because a I lost your video, but uh, b. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, integrated graphics is never known for, for being pretty powerful. So if you want to actually have some, some decent graphics, you're going to have to get that extra standalone card. Yeah, you, know you I mean? need a video card. But do you think that would help? Because, like, it is a video card, and it has 3D acceleration, but it's not... Mm, anything that's it, integrated is usually It's usually bad. underpowered. It's yeah. very underpowered, and, you know, all I could say is you can go and get a decent video card for probably around 100 bucks. Hogan just I, got a new video card, I did. You? I did just buy two oh. video cards that are silent. They have no fans, and usually those One, are premium. The only thing so. about silent cards is just that I don't want it to overheat on me. Cause well, yeah, you got to have good case airflow, and that's what I have. I made sure of I that. I have so. terrible case airflow. I don't know. Like, I don't know what to do for you then, man. <laughs> just get buy a bunch of fans and point them at it and yeah, pray I've for tried your life. That. 
<laughs> well, you don't have to get a, a fanless video card either. You know, you can you can clearly just you know go on a new egg, do some searches. I mean, I, I I spend a lot of time looking at benchmarks. If you want to send me an email and we could talk about it a little bit more, epilepticgaming at gmail dot com. I'd love to you know yeah. help you out if I could. Hogan so. loves talking about I'm that very tech nerdy stuff. and geeky, yeah. you guys. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. I know it. jack squat about that technical stuff. <laughs> I couldn't tell you anything. I just know if it works or not. That's it. So is that cool? You want to email me? Yeah, sure. All right. Just saying, All like, right. Do you think what type of graphics card would you suggest for just like a? How much uh, do you want to spend? Yeah, it really Broke comes. A guy with no money. A guy with no money. I mean, uh, you could probably get a uh, previous generation graphics card for I don't know, fifty or sixty bucks. Um, but you know, I, I'd have to you know do some more research and look online. Maybe you know send you some links and we can go back and forth. And, and you know what? Out. It's, you know, it's about to be the holiday shopping season in full swing, so I'm sure there's going to be some deals out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you want to ask Santa Claus for a new graphics card, <laughs> I'm sure he might be able to hook you up. So it seems like yeah. now is the time to attack your issue. He hasn't hooked me up in 16 years. Oh, oh. dude. You've got, you got, you got to believe that's God why. Goddamn Santa. got to believe in Santa. I, I could I could hook myself up. <laughs> there, you go. there you go. That's how you believe. Hogan it. hooks himself up every night. That's true. <laughs> and in the morning. <laughs> and, and during lunch. <laughs> I, I do think so those long hour long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you you have any other in that bathroom for, us, for a little DJ? long. Uh, I'll I'll email you guys my specs. All right, epilepticgaming at gmail dot com. We're geeks. We're here to help. So yeah, thanks. if you guys you know I gave out the email address before. If you guys have questions, comments about the show. Uh, epilepticgaming at gmail.com. We get a lot of great letters, and we read them all the time on the air. Um, I know Wheat and I, and Hogan probably too, we, we really appreciate them, and we love hearing that stuff. So we encourage you guys to write in and let us know what you think of the show. Even if you think the show sucks, we want to hear your opinion. We'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Yeah, the game sucks major ass. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right, thanks, I, DJ. We'll talk to you later. Hopefully, hopefully we answered your call or your question, and... Uh, Say hi to San Diego for me. <laughs> All right, I will. All right. Later. Hater. Uh, no, later. later. Oh. So someone has a question. If we have a call, I can wait. But Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah. You guys uh, got questions to stick them? Go ahead. So Paul, or whatever his name is, P-O-L, uh, he wants to know what the Ghostbusters news was that you talked about. Oh, so Ghostbusters was announced to come out on all platforms pretty much. I think it's PC 360. Um, PS3. I'm not sure about the Wii. I'm going to guess they are going to make a Wii SKU just because of the success of the console. Um, so they announced that they're making an official Ghostbusters game. It's going to be uh, published by Sierra Vivendi, um, our friends over there. And it looks like it's going to be true. The original G4 TV actually had an exclusive uh, video of it. And um, it showed, it looked like a scene, actually like an actual scene uh, from Ghostbusters 2, or, you know, Ghostbusters 1, one of them, I, I confuse the two all the time. It's been a while. But uh, it had Slimer on there, and it's got all the original voices, I believe. Um, and it actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, I know the video was up on Destructoid. It's being passed around all over the Internet. Um, Hogan, if you want to pull it up real quick, maybe we will show it. Um, it was a cool video. It was a pretty cool video. Maybe, maybe we'll go ahead and show it. Uh, I know Destructoid hates us, and they like writing shit about us, but... Uh, we don't really care. They have the video, so we're going to show the video. So, uh, yeah, let's show the video. Let's let you guys see it. Why not? It's fired up here. Just got to let it buffer. Oh, I wish it was full. Yeah, no full. Can't really see, but you see a little bit. You know, he's in that... Remember when they were in that uh, dining hall thing and Slimer was causing the mess? And uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. But uh, it actually looks decent, you know. I, you know, I don't know how the control, how it's gonna feel control-wise, but it looks pretty. Uh, it looks like it takes the license pretty well, and uh, it's pretty faithful to it. <laughs> That's pretty There's cool. that scene where they were going through the halls, and this is definitely Ghostbusters one esque. It's is that was that in Ghostbusters one? Yeah. I forget. Okay, you're right. This is totally like the dining room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. That was one. This game looks kind of fun. I mean, playing co-op four the, player. And if it really does have the original voices, that's going to be nice. I wonder if Bill Murray has ever done a video game before. Is there a Groundhog Day video game? <laughs> I don't think so. Dude. Oh, okay. I sure hope not. <laughs> that's not. That's you have to play this level exactly the same again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to play this over and over. Oh, the big car That's cool. Fuck that guy up. 
Yeah, so, you know, if you guys want to see the video, head over to Destructoid or, or peek around the internet. It's all over the place. It's probably on Dig and all that stuff. Uh, G4 actually had the exclusive video of that, so thank you, G4, for getting that so we could see that. Caller, what's up? Hey, yo. Yo. Um, just wanted to check in on you guys and see what you think about the uh, upcoming UFC. You know what? I think that card's kind of weak. You know, if the main event are two... You know, ultimate fighter uh, winners, Rashad Evans and, um, and Michael Bisbing. I mean, they're, they're good fighters. Well. They're good fighters, and it's yeah. going to be an entertaining fight. But for their main event on a pay-per-view, I don't know about that. What do you, what do you, and then I heard the undercard. I mean, the undercard is decent. But, you know, with the, with the pride fighters that UFC has now, with some of the other key fighters that I know they have, especially a lot of good lightweights, you know, I expected a little bit more, but, um, you know, it, it'll be entertaining, yes. But I don't think it's going to be as epic as some of the other ones have been in the past. What do you think? Uh, I think the main event is shit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think Rashad Evans opinion. is, I think Rashad's pretty good, though, dude. And, and I think Michael Bisbing's got some heart. It's just, it's hard to swallow that as your main event bill, you know, for someone to pay for pay-per-view. Yeah, but uh, luckily I'm not paying for it. So, I'm, oh, <laughs> oh, really wow. looking forward to uh, seeing Chonan in action again and uh, seeing if uh, Houston Alexander is the real deal or not. The Hughes fight with, uh, is that what you're talking about? No, the Houston Alexander versus Thiago Silva. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, there are some good fights on it. I, I, won't, I won't doubt that. But as far as, like, other pay-per-views that they've had in the past, it's a little underwhelming. You never know. What is yeah. going on, Hogan? Sorry. What is happening? It's like a website with video. My UFC God, site. You, you just fail on every level possible. <laughs> That's the UFC site now? Well, it's the, it's the Let's one Let's show people that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of neat looking. I didn't flat. know they played songs on it. It's like it's, a flat. It's, it's part of the like, UFC 78, so I, I, I was just curious when this was going to be. Are you a big UFC Isn't fan? like one and a half hour. Are you a big UFC so, fan, caller? Uh, yeah. Who's your uh, well, favorite fighter? I, uh... I'm going to have to go with, uh, in UFC, I'm going to have to say uh, GSP. You know, actually, um, I used yeah. to train at, at Henzo Gracie's Academy in New York, and George St. Pierre used to come by all the time. And Matt Sarah actually used to come by all the time and actually help us, you know, nubs right, out. Enough of that. And uh, that was pretty cool of him. I've always liked Matt Sarah after that, so I hope he beats the piss out of, uh, out of Hughes. Oh, they're <laughs> fighting again? Yeah, oh. again. They haven't fought. They haven't fought. It's going to be. And the way that they're talking on the Ultimate Fighter They hate series, each other. They genuinely hate each other. So, it, it, like, Matt Serra, it's like Hughes disrespected Matt Serra incredibly. And, and Matt Serra is, like, sick of him. So uh, I'm looking forward to that fight. I can't, I can't say I'm too excited about that fight uh, since I don't like any one of them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to each his own. So it's. I want to see both lose. So, uh, <laughs> Maybe that'll knockout. happen. Maybe they'll just hit each other at the same time and they'll both fall. Yeah. <laughs> rocky. Uh, yeah, very rocky-ish. Yeah. Any, uh, any other questions, caller? Uh, not really. Not really? Okay. COD 4 was a disappointment. Which was? COD 4. It was a disappointment? Yeah. What were you expecting? Ooh. I don't know. I wasn't expecting shit. Are you playing on the uh, PC or console? PC. Mm. Mm. Uh, I just I downloaded it last night. So yeah, see, I can't, really, be speak, it out, I can't really speak to how the PC version is, especially for gamers that only do things on the PC and would prefer to do it on the PC. But on the console side, and especially for the PS3, COD 4 is fucking where it's at. So uh, maybe on the PC it's not, but you know, on the consoles it is. So um, Sorry to hear you didn't like the experience. Uh, I well, know Wheat and I did. It's the best FPS game I've played in a while, so... Oh. Uh, and it's still not crap? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, oh now it's yeah. not too shabby. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, maybe maybe you'll change your mind in the next five seconds, and then it'll be the best game ever. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for calling. Enjoy your free yeah. fight that you're going to torrent. All right, next caller. <laughs> Paul, what's up? Yo, how's it going, guys? How's it going, Paul? Yo. Hey, nope. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, I can. Okay, uh, Ace on Tyler for asking that question about Ghostbusters, and that's definitely Ghostbusters 1. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, good, Duma, for throwing that first eye judgment game on Wheat. That was pro, and you took it to him. That's it, guys. I'm out. Great show. <laughs> All right, man. Two.
Thanks, Paul. Thank around. you. Thanks for checking in. <laughs> Great call. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, next caller. What's up? Caller, you're on the air. Hey. Hey. You, you all hear me? Yes. Can hear you. Have you played Assassin's Creed yet? I Assassin's did not, Creed? but I watched Wheat play a good chunk of it, about mm, maybe an hour, a little over an hour of it. And it, uh, it's, it's pretty badass, but it just shows what you could do on the PS3 if they had developed exclusively it's, it, for it's, it. It's pretty badass, and, it's, and it's, it's a pretty good view into seeing some of the reviewer jackasses that are giving it low scores. Um, you can exactly see where, how they, they think. And if you honestly look at Assassin's Creed and give it something like a 5.5 or anything, like a 7 or below, then you're smoking some crack. Well, I think they just weren't ready for the experience. Like, they didn't know what they were getting into. And, you know, and to be fair, a lot of the mainstream reviewers have a lot of games to plow through, and maybe they just couldn't sit back, relax, and appreciate the game for what it was, the beauty of the game, you know, how slick it is, the, the way it approaches the genre in a different direction. You know, maybe they just don't think on that level anymore. Maybe they just have to bang out review after review, and they don't have time to sit there and enjoy it. So... Uh, who knows? I know most of the reviews have been good. They're like nines or above, but there are some little spotty ones here and there. But I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying it. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying it. It actually looks like a, you know, from what I've seen we play, it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm actually going to pick up a copy. Did you run into the uh, repetitive gameplay, though, while you were playing? I, no, I didn't or play, walking? and I only saw Wheat play for a little over an hour. So, of course, uh, there wasn't any repetitive gameplay, but... You know, the appeal for Assassin's Creed for me has always been the wide open, do whatever you want. In fact, I told Wheat, one of the greatest things I loved doing during E3 was doing some prison shanks on people. And I was like, yeah, you know what, this is like shooting out tires for me in Crackdown. I could just go in Assassin's Creed and sh prison shank people all day long and then just like return, you know, try to hide in the environment. And that to me is the appeal. So, you know, repetitiveness, uh, you know, I think that it's very subjective. And then everybody has a, uh, you know... That, that doesn't oh, apply you're, across gonna, the board. You're going to see the repetitive gameplay once you get into it. But I think I'm if sure. they had developed it specifically for the PS3, that wouldn't have been there. Yeah. They had more sounds and more space to do stuff with the sound, so you wouldn't hear the same shit over and over. You know, I'm, I'm hoping the game does well because I would like to see a sequel. I think that, uh, you know... The, the game's graphics and looks are almost pretty much there, and if they had a little more time and could build upon that, the game could be even more incredible. Well, all right, man. That's all I got. All right. Late. Thanks for calling. Hope I answered your question. I think you did. I don't know if there was a question in there. <laughs> I just answer questions anyway. We got next caller. Here we go. What's up, buddy? Caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hello. Yo, I got a question about Call of Duty 4. Yes. Uh, do you know the perks where one of them that increases the the shooting speed and the other one, the, the slide of hand, which is increases your reload speed? Which one do you think is better? You know, I haven't I haven't gotten the one that increases your shooting speed. How what does uh, it do exactly? Basically, like let's say um, the M4, right? It shoots a, like a specific speed, like of, a rate of fire. It, it increases the rate of fire. Yeah, rate of fire, basically. Basically, it increases your rate of fire. Oh wow! And how is yeah. it? How has it been? Um, I haven't I haven't really gotten yet, but I was thinking um, I was looking at the the frequently asked questions on the Tri Officer Delta. I was looking at the the perks they have so I can just like, you know, plan out what the perks I want. Mm -hmm. and, and since um Slide of Hand and the uh, Double Tap they're on the same group, so I was kinda of wondering if you guys know about it or No, I, I didn't I haven't unlocked that perk yet. Um I think there's still a few perks oh. I'm missing, maybe seven or eight of them, I don't know, something like that. Um I just got the reload thing this morning actually. Uh, when I played a little bit this morning. I don't necessarily think the reload is all that, unless you have a saw, unless you're a big saw user or one of those With light machine slow guns. slow reload, yeah. Yeah, then it will come in handy on the, like, smaller weapons. You know, I'm used to just using my own strategy to overcome, you know, a slower reload. So I'm not so sure that's effective for me, but I'm sure for light machine gun players, that's, you know, a must-have, obviously. Um, the rate of fire thing, that's pretty interesting, though. I would think with the perks of, like, increased bullet damage and everything else, you know, I'm not sure how necessary that would be, but you never know. That's why I love Call of Duty 4. I mean, you, can, you have these combinations to play with, and, and it's cool that they give you those tools, and, and maybe it does work better. Who knows? It depends on your play style, you know? That's, that's another thing. Those perks are designed to enhance someone's personal play style. You know, if you're, if you're good at one thing, you know, that perk will excel it, whereas another perk won't do anything for you, so... Um, kudos to Activision and uh, the guys over there that made it.
Uh, all right. Snacks. Oh, one, one, one more thing. Yeah. yeah. You know the Legend of Zelda for the DS? Which, right. Which game? The color, that's what the, the color of called in them. Zelda? Yeah, the Phantom Hourglass. Yes. I, my, I borrowed it from a friend. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I played it. Uh, I think the last time I played it was at PAX, and uh, it was pretty good. Um, if I actually went out and bought DS games and played my DS all the time, I'd probably go get it. But uh, since I don't live in New York and, and do mass transportation, public transportation all the time, I don't really have a lot of time to play my DS. So um, yes. it's not really much of a purchase for me. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. If you own a DS, play a DS a lot. It's, it's definitely one of those things you would have to have in your library. So. All right, All right, All right caller? Hey, Suma. Um, yes, hello. Hardware guy just chatted me a question. He wants to know, does the increased rate of fire increase the, uh, the spread of the reticule? Oh. Like, I mean... I would think it wouldn't, right? If it increased the spread, how effective would it actually be? Heavy weapons guy, my bad. Hardware yeah. Guy. I'm not sure. I'm not so sure that that it would do that, but uh, that's a good question. My answer is I don't know, and that you know I would assume it wouldn't because then it would be your shooting would be less effective, and I don't know why they put that in there. I could be wrong, but that, that's what makes sense in my messed up brain. Black so. robe on uh, Stickum says that it does. It does. It does. Yes. Well, that sounds like a perk I don't want. Then uh, I don't it, it would be hard to balance that, but um, anyway. Maybe if you have like increased aim, that hip aim thing, and then the increased rate of fire, maybe it ba maybe they balance each other out so where it is effective. I don't know. I'm I'll, I'm interested to find out though and play with it. Caller, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? What's up with you? I'm talking about uh, Call of Duty 4 on the PC. It's pretty badass. Oh, you like is it so far? I, I just downloaded it uh, yesterday. Last night. I haven't played it yet. I'm going to try it out this weekend. Hey, caller, do you have the uh, settings pumped all the way up, or are they like uh, kind of on a normal setting? You know, I think it's all default, and I think it is all high settings. I kind of changed it, but I didn't bother because I was getting good frames, and it looked good. So, and what, what, kind and of, uh, video great, card? Right? what kind of video card do you have? Uh, I have an 8800 GPS. Oh, okay. That's so pretty nice. 320 megabytes. Really? Yeah, I mean, so. I, I played the demo on my two-year-old shuttle, and it looked beautiful, and it actually ran pretty good. So I imagine if you have a decent, you know, up-to-date rig, it's going to look pretty sweet on default. Yeah. The multiplayer, do you guys on, like, PS3 or Xbox have, a uh, like, a hardcore mode? Because yeah. Because on uh, P. Yeah, I want to try that. Built. How is that? It, it's sweet. Is it's it? It's really sweet. I want to try that. Like one shot kill. Yeah, he's talking about hardcore here. mode, which it takes away the perks too, right? I uh, know you have you have perks. What I've played. Oh, uh, you do have perks. Okay, but it's it's more realistic. There's friendly fire, and uh, yeah, it's like the bullets penetrate faster, so it's more you know like if you were really in a battle. Like Counter Strike, then, or worse. Yeah. Is it more? It's like super yeah, it's serious. Yeah, like you get shot, you're going to be dead. So I mean, it's it's realistic in that sense. Uh, all the perks are there. Oh. Actually, I've never played a normal game. I hopped in. They have that normal game option. From the beginning. Yeah, and they have that normal game option there for you. Um, there's so many game modes. It's great. I love it. It's because, you know, Wheat and I love Headquarters. Force love Domination. You know, you love Hardcore. It's great that Infinity War put all those options in there for you. Um, kudos to them again. I mean, it's really... In my mind, game of the year. I don't know what else is coming out this year that I can think of that might top it, but uh, so far it's my game of the year. If I was to name one right this second, yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely fun. And I also got Assassin's Creed, and I kind of played it, but I'm still I'm going back to Call of Duty 4 a lot more than Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that's why I mean, I... it is kind of repetitive, but it, it's still you know fun because you just fucking kill people all day long. <laughs> That's like the modern dilemma right now. Is there's just too many. Yeah, there's video too many. Games. It, it's like nice to have Call of Duty 4 there though to go back to every once in a while. But uh, you know, I would suggest that people go out and at least rent Assassin's Creed just to experience it. Just to experience, you know, a different kind of gameplay that's happening right now in video games. That I'm very excited about it's getting to more of a Hollywood feel. You get it with Call of Duty 4. You get it with Assassin's Creed. You get it with Heavenly Sword. He's, and uh, even Bioshock to some extent. You know, you're getting more of a immersive Hollywood, great storytelling experience, and Assassin's Creed is definitely another one of those examples of that. Um, so thank you, Patrice, for making that game. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions, caller? Right. Uh, that's it. All right. Thanks, All right. Guy. Thanks, guy. Later. Oh, I can't believe I said thanks, guy. I used to hate that in New York. Thanks, guy. God, New Yorkers, they just, hey, guy, what's up, guy? 
My name's not Guy, all right? <laughs> Don't call me Guy. We'll call this now guy. Now everyone that calls is going to say, hey, Guy. Caller, what's up? Hey, hello. I have a question for uh, camera. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Uh, uh, how much did you get those cards for? All right. Um, <laughs> just killing me. During the show, I was actually chatting up with the heavy weapons guy, and he was telling me that the 8600 GTs that I got, I got them for about 115 each on Newegg. They are pretty underpowered versus their GTS cousins, and some price drops are coming down the pipe soon for 8800s. And obviously, yeah. ideally, I'd want to roll with, with the, the more expensive hardware, but it's just out of my price range. And those two cards, fanless, was definitely in my price range, so... Hmm. Well, I hope you can eBay them too. <laughs> uh, well, luckily, luckily Newegg's pretty nice about it. I think I'm going to try and return them and put my old video card back in. Maybe wait until after the holidays. Wait, you're season. sending back the guys you just got? Yeah, I, you know I've tried used them to... so far and I haven't been that, impre I, oh. that impressed. Yeah. Oh. And I'm I, kind I, of I looking. Didn't... Go ahead. I'm kind of looking forward for the results for free 850 ATI because preliminary results show that it's actually like your SLI setup for maybe a, bit, a little bit less in one card. Wow. So that might be a good option. Which one is that? Uh, that's what ATI is about to release. So it's kind of sketchy about the prices. I haven't, I haven't had an ATI card in forever. And yeah, I know. So, I, I have know. an ATI card. It'd be nice to try. I mean, I my, my motherboard's SLI, so I can't do Crossfire. But I also learned that not all games take, take use of uh, two video cards in SLI mode. I, I was kind of disappointed yeah. to hear that. Especially memory. I mean... Uh, it's kind of hard to recommend even the 850 because of the 256 megabytes. Um, I, I heard you guys often talk about um, eight, your LCDs, HDTVs, all of that. You have to have more memory with most modern more cards, pixels. like uh, more memory for texture, basically. Right, right, yeah, right. pixels. So yeah, I have another question. Uh, how do you compare uh, TF2 to Call of Duty 4 uh, multiplayer? Um. You know, I think TF2 is just sort of a fun and drop, and, and it's more team-based, I guess. It was, it's definitely more team-focused, whereas Call of Duty 4, you could definitely do things more on your own. It, it's kind of one of those differences, you know, I'm not saying TF2 is like Halo 3 because I hate Halo 3, but TF2, you know, because of the art style and because of the, you know, the, the humorous slant, it's more of like a cartoonish, fun sort of experience. Whereas Call of Duty 4 is a very immersive experience, and you know, you got the sounds of war going on, you got more realistic weapons. You know, if you're looking for something more realistic and more visceral, or just, you know, that you can maybe feel with your hands a little bit more, um, you know, Call of Duty 4 fills that need. But if you just want a fun shooter that's like fun to play with your friends, and you guys can work as a team, and there's different, cla like, specific classes to, to fill, um, you know, it's a fun game. It, it, you know, I would recommend that people play both. And there's no reason not to. There's no reason to you know, hop from one to the other depending on how you're feeling that day. Yep, thanks. Yep. Right. Hope that answered your question. Good call, caller. So uh, the pool guy wants to know if there's a co-op mode in COD 4. There is no co-op mode in COD 4. In fact, I saw someone mention today uh, they thought Hayes was better than COD 4 already because Hayes has four-player, I believe, four-player co-op for single-player. Um, so COD 4 has no co-op because of the story. The way that the story unfolds in COD 4, co-op may not necessarily fit in there. And you know what? I don't think it's something that a lot of people were missing or a lot of people cared about because the single-player experience was so rich. And it's, it is a short game. It's only six to eight hours to complete. So you don't necessarily need co-op. And I think people love the multiplayer so much that you don't even necessarily need co-op, you know, again, in single-player as well. Uh, another mode that I saw today uh, in COD 4, by the way, for those of you that like going one-on-one, -on -one, there is a one-on-one -on -one mode for COD 4 where you can just battle one other guy. Um, so make sure you check that one out. That's, yeah. that's old school. I mean, maybe that'll bring uh, some esports back yeah. into it where the Straight duelers can go one -on -one. one go at it. I imagine the maps are modified greatly for that. I haven't right. tested it yet. Caller, what's up? Guys, what's up? Okay, check this out. <laughs> You remember what I called about Crisis, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, player, right? dude. That's an epic clip on YouTube. Bro. Yeah. Yes, I know. I heard it. Okay. Look, okay, listen. 
<laughs> okay, Crisis came out, and Chuck, okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he started crying, and <laughs> I got $50 out of that deal, man. Okay, I was like, what? What? what's that? Multiplayer? What? <laughs> like, every time uh, someone mentions Crisis or multiplayer, that's all that we think about, <laughs> and we do it every time. Someone says, hey, Crisis, multiplayer. Oh, dude, bro. Crisis is all that player, bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty epic. In fact, when I tell people about the show, I usually use that clip as our highlight clip. So thank you very much for inspiring us in yeah. that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem. Man. Yeah, happy, uh, happy smoking there, brother. So you've been playing Crisis? <laughs> How is it so far? Oh, dude, it's <laughs> Like, rocks your socks off. Does it blow your mind, man? Yes. Yes, know it. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, thank you, man. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you guys. Keep Later. hitting that bong. <laughs> All right, guys, open phones. You know what to do. Call the number on the screen, one eight six six four zero eight four four four. We got, what, 10 minutes left? Yeah, Something like that? Yep. So you guys got 10 minutes to ask me anything you want, anything video game related. Anything about Wheat's sex change operation? We haven't gotten any calls on that. You know we went to Mexico and got this done. I don't know why you guys don't want to know about it. it. The price is right. Anyway, no calls? Not nothing yet. Um, guys, guys, you're dropping the ball. Dude, I cannot wait to try Assassin's Creed. Why haven't you gotten it yet? I I I just downloaded Call of Duty 4. I mean, you can like I said, there's (laughs) too much out. There's only so much to do. Oh, you don't have a PS3. Caller. Hmm. Oh, it's me again. Oh, I had another uh, question. Oh, kind of comment. I think it was last... Uh, when was Mega64? Uh, what day was that? Last Friday. Last Friday. A week ago today. All of, the, all, of those, all of those calls, I mean, that was hilarious. And none of them was funny. It no. was completely amazing. I mean, when you call and, and make a prank call, at least make it funny. You know, slide that insult in after something good. But the failure was funny, right? Uh, I liked Mega 64. I and actually went. Uh, um, that's the first time I heard about them, and actually went to their site to check the videos. Awesome. I was kind of amazed um, that that people would be so stupid on their show. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Yeah, they're sort of still sort of underground, I guess you could say. I guess human beings can be really stupid. Though. Hey, the internet is really stupid. Yeah. Trust me. Jeez. Yeah, it's like not that they were always funny, but their their videos are almost always look not mainstream kind of offbeat yeah they're very jackass whenever i describe them to anybody i just say jackass meets candy camera meets punk kind of thing um that's kind of what they do and it's usually pretty funny i mean and they do other stuff have, have you seen that halo 3 thing they did where they uh they acted like they were the makers of that buck hunter game and they were pissed off at halo 3 being launched because their buck hunter game wasn't was being <laughs> overshadowed like so they'll do skits like that that are more like comedy skits related to video games that you would be used to so uh they uh they have some talent they do have some talent no i i I only i think i stopped at the one with the miyamoto (laughs) that just kept me laughing okay i i i uh i suggest you guys go check out that halo 3 thing they did with the uh cabela's big game hunter i think it was um it's pretty funny actually in fact, what the hell is that? No calls all of these guys on uh, stickam and no one calls what's going on they're scared. scared. I'd be scared to call on the show as well. But they're scared. <laughs> I don't know why, but they're scared. I can see all the people that are watching. There's hundreds of you out there. Right, Maybe let's, thousands. Let's try and get we some, know where someone you live. else. Maybe millions. Aries, thanks for your call, man. See ya. All right, later. Bye. Bye. All right, here we go. Caller, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm just calling to uh, talk to you guys about Assassin's Creed. Uh, I'd say it's kind of a letdown if you if you ask me. I just finished the game, and I really believe that they could have made the plot much better, the story much better. But did um, you did you find the experience refreshing at all? Did you oh, find it, the the actual game design like to be something completely different than what you're used to? Uh yeah, well I, the thing uh, that kind of got me was every time you walk around a corner they say the exact same thing. Maybe if they added a little bit more depth mm-hmm. to the voice uh, acting, it would have been better. Well, the voice acting wasn't bad. I right. mean, like it's just there was a lot of repetitiveness in the sound. Um, well, yeah, you know, they were pretty ambitious in the game itself, so you had to expect the first go around to yeah. not be flawless. I you know I don't think. 
Hogan or I expected that game to be absolutely flawless. You know, it's a very ambitious game on many levels. I, I think the, the, the challenge that they put out there was to have an AI that is so in-depth and so yeah. very... I mean, they set the bar very high for themselves. It shows so. how hard it is to make a really, like, true human-esque, you know, real-world AI. I mean, it, I just don't think we're there yet, but hopefully a game like this will kind of inspire people to mm -hmm. continue doing that. Uh, yeah, I, I really like the game, but I think they could have made the plot a little bit better. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but once you play, you'll understand what I'm saying, because, like, they kind of, like, split off a little bit and yeah. get off the track, so it's kind of, yeah. But, yeah. uh, thanks for letting me call in. Yeah, no problem. Hi, right, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. You know, I'm glad people are enjoying the game otherwise. Are we, uh, are we about done, Hogan? Uh, about, about, yeah, five wow. minutes left. Room for one more call. Why'd you give me the cut? My no, no, I, just, I was trying to tell you that I hung up on that guy by accident. Oh. I thought you were like, you're going to die. Last caller. Hey, guys. It's Megan. <laughs> I just have a, an Assassin's Creed question. Uh, yeah. Is it me, or did it kind of break up the experience whenever like, you shank somebody, and then you oh. kind of did that like head duck down, and you're pretty much invisible? No, I love that. I hated that. You don't like that? But there's different ways to blend in. Assassin, because if you stab somebody, and you duck your head... You're gonna get like chased and shot at. You mean even if you shank, even if you shank someone in front of a bunch of people, not just behind the back, if you put your head down, you're still blending in. Yeah, that's weird because is, oh, it's the guy. Is that what happens? White, I'm asking. The red stuff on it. Crowds are gonna panic. Well, yeah. just like real life, if you in real life go with someone in a big crowd and stab them, of course everyone's gonna panic. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the point. Right? Um, and another question. Okay. Is it me, or did anybody else get a huge boner when uh, Suma got in those short shorts? Oh, dude. I, 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 uh, I had to put blinders on, actually, that, that made it so I couldn't see anything above people's heads at all. And I was just, like, walking around. <laughs> I was running into a lot of tables and chairs, and I was tripping on wires, but I, I had to do it because... Suma's dong was about to pop out of those shorts, and it was just overwhelming, the whole shit. Those are like Lieutenant Dangle shorts. <laughs> hey, you know, I make sacrifices for you guys. Remember and with that. that <laughs> remember that. So it's about, it's about time to end the show. See you later. All right, thanks. So by the way, guys, yeah, make sure you email us, epileptigaming at gmail.com. Visit our forums at epileptigaming.ggl.com. If you are in the L.A. area and want to stop by this nerd car party, it's at uh, wherever I said it was going to be at, what? Meltdown Comics on Sunset tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, you can meet me, and I promise I will not have short shorts on. Tyler, thank you for dealing with all the stickum and you stream people today. Not a problem. Okay. It was fun. And keeping quiet. I'm glad there wasn't yeah. a lot of noise coming out of there. <laughs> yeah. Hogan, thank you very much He's for filling new. in that production right, role, it, answering those tech questions. I'm a nerd. And uh, we got to get ready to look at some girls in bikinis. It's a very rough life, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you. Guys, I'm Robert Suma. Thank you so much for watching. We will return as a new woman on Monday, so make sure you tune in. And we have two special guests next week, so make sure you tune in to that as well. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Have a happy weekend. Peace. Nice. Good job, Logan. You oh, fail. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs>